how could I mine enough to make one Bitcoin in a day? Whew. Well, the way I told you the block, there's the block reward. Yeah. Right. It, it rewards out. Um, now for it's completing six point, a block. So, so we've had every four years it cuts in half. So it started at 50. Mm -hmm. Then four years after it started, it went to 12 and a half. And then just recently it went to, sorry, sorry, 25. It went to 25. And then it went, the third happening, it went to 12 and a half. And just recently it went to 6.25. And this is how the 6.25 what? Bitcoins per block. Okay. Rewarded. It, go, it cuts itself in half every four years. And that's okay. how it's going to go to zero in the future. Oh, that's the mechanism. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't really. I get it now. That's all right. This is the largest audience I've ever confused. With <laughs> so, <laughs> um, hopefully. Yeah. Um, so, um, what was the question? Oh, you are my bit one. Bitcoin. Yeah. So okay, how can so, I, yeah. How can you mine? So, so now it's down to six and a half Bitcoin per block. Per but block. what people realized, and this happened really early in Bitcoin, like back even when the CPUs and GPUs were used to mine it. Um, so if you were going to buy some hardware to mine Bitcoin, you could set it to mine Bitcoin called solo mining, mm -hmm. where you're just looking, you're just playing with everybody else trying to find on the chain. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'd get lucky and you get 50 Bitcoin, but it would take, you know, it's all about statistics and averages or, or uh, uh, not statistics, but, uh, um, how plausible it is. You'll find it's like playing blackjack or something. Well, yeah, but it could, so, so you could run your machine, you could get the 50 Bitcoins or the 25 Bitcoins or now the 6.25 Bitcoins, but it could take you like three years or something wow. of mining. Right. Or what people have done is they join pools. So they pool their power, their mining power into this pool. And then the pool is much more because it has a huge amount of mining power. If you just have like one miner or something, um, you can hook up to this, you can link up with a pool and the pool has a huge amount of mining power. So they find a couple blocks a day. Oh, wow. Say, right. And then what they do is they divvy it up. Okay. To all the, you know, depending on how much you contributed, um, to, do the, you do to this? the miners. I did in the past. Yeah. Okay. That's, I always did pool mining. Why'd you stop? Um, because, well, I stopped mining seriously in 2015 or 14. The the prices of everything, you know, Bitcoin went up to thirteen hundred dollars in two thousand thirteen, and then it crashed back down to like six hundred by the by January twenty fourteen or January, February something like that, and mm. then it, it actually eventually made its way back down to I think almost two hundred or two hundred fifty something like that. And during that time, it was just not profitable to mine. Like he spent more in power and being a pain. Also, I had it at, at a friend's warehouse, and he ended up. Um, I ended up not being able to do it there anymore. So, um, yeah, isn't it scary? Like have to have, especially pooling. Like if you're talking about pooling and joining other people's power grid and having a bunch of people with their processors that are mining Bitcoin. I mean, you got to be pretty scared. You know, that place has to be pretty secure. Well, and no, no. The, the, the thing is you don't need to pool with people in a physical location. You pool with them wherever they are. So oh. you can be alone in your dorm room and you can join a pool. Oh, and so, they're all just basically what it'll do is it'll so when you're when you're searching for the the needle in the haystack you know what they'll do is they'll say okay we've got this giant stack mm -hmm. all right here you take this clump of hay you take this clump of hay you look through that clump of hay you look through this clump of okay, hay okay i get it you look through this clump of hay right and they can divvy that out over the internet right so um but there are huge facilities that, like you talked about, the one in Iceland, mm -hmm. where and there's a ton of them in China, where they um, they just go through the you know they have these giant facilities and so yeah security is probably an issue. Although really, if you break in there, all all you're gonna really be able to get is you're not gonna be able to get at the Bitcoin, you know, like right. It's, you're, it's just a bunch of hardware. But if someone wanted to, generating. they could just go fucking take a baseball bat and break all your computers and yeah, they could do that. So yeah, pooling. Um, so pooling allows small operators to get like a, a, a regular return, you know, instead right. of like if you, if you buy a piece of hardware, uh, to buy Bitcoin and you hook it up as a solo miner, you'd be like, well, maybe I'll get 6.25 Bitcoins. Uh, but it might take two years for me to find that. Or you mm -hmm. could say, I'm going to hook up to a pool where they're regularly finding blocks 
and then they're going to divvy up uh, uh, the you know depending on how many uh, stacks of hay you looked at, they'll give you your proportionate share of that block okay. plus a fee, you know, for them running the pool. Right. So then you get maybe you'll get the same amount. Maybe you get six point two five Bitcoin in two years over the you know over the course of you running it, mm-hmm. but. Uh, you're getting it in like a steady stream instead of just, oh, wow, I found a block all at once, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so when is this, when did you say it stops again? I think it's 2130. 2130. But so today is, uh, it's 2020 today uh, and we're already at 18 million, I think, of the 21 million. 18 million Bitcoins of the 21. Yeah, so it's 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 going to get a less and less amount, you know, as, as like it's it's a really like winnowing it's down. It's probably going to be way earlier. Well, no, it'll be that it'll be twenty one thirty. But by then, it, you know, the what's funny is it's actually worked. Um, that the the value has kept up with the halvings, you know. So like, uh, at, at every halving, it's kind of like basically the miners' profitability is cut in half overnight. But on the long run, uh, the price has managed to keep up pretty well as far as, you know, so even in, you know, 2130 or whatever, like when people are mining mm. some fraction of, you know, like one Bitcoin every block, you know, it's like 0.05 Bitcoin per block or whatever it is, you know, that 0.05 Bitcoin may be worth How do they come up with that number? Dollars. Why that number though? I don't what? get it. 21. 21 million? Yeah. You know, I think Satoshi talked about it somewhere. There's a really cool book called The Book of Satoshi. That's all of his writings. Uh, ever that every anybody's been able to really find, like so online and whatever, and they compiled them into a book called The Book of Satoshi. And I think he may have talked about why he picked 21 million. I think it was just like a uh, an equation he did that basically, uh, you know, because people think, you know, hey, what if the global uh, global economy is running on Bitcoin? Remember we talked about divisibility yeah. being a fundamental thing of money? Mm-hmm. That, you know, that there's more than 21 people in the world. So, you know, does that mean it's going to be too scarce? Like, are people going to be... 21 million people. Yeah, there's, you know, 7, 8 billion. Right, now. exactly. So that's not enough for everybody to right. have one Bitcoin. So, uh, but Bitcoins are divisible by eight decimal points. So it's, so of... Of uh, the 21 million, it's that many time, you know, so the, the amount of units can be chopped up into is eight billions. Oh, of, oh, yeah, once you, okay. Yeah, it may even be trillions. One Bitcoin you can divide eight times? No, you can divide it to the eighth decimal place. Eighth decimal place, okay. Yeah. So it's it's real small. I've never done the math on it, but right, okay. you could, so you can have a lot of Bitcoin units. So even if Bitcoin was worth like a million dollars, theoretically, uh, the 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 unit of Bitcoin is they've they've uh, they've called it the Satoshi. So like that's that's like point <laughs> zero 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 one Bitcoin is a, is one Satoshi. So okay. So if I think I did the math once, or even if Bitcoin was a million dollars, one Satoshi is still worth five dollars. Wow. So you could buy coffee with it. Wow. Right. So it could be that. So I think he just did some math. Like okay, twenty one million is a good number. It's divisible, you know, it's it's when you divide it up eight by to the eighth decimal place, it's plenty of currency to go around uh, and be used around the world practically for, for things, but...